What's up guys and well this is interesting. What you're looking at right now is the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2. We have seen some renders based on the sketches and some screen sizes and all that information but this is what we call our first proper Galaxy Fold 2 design glimpse. So as expected the punch hole design is indeed here for the Galaxy Fold 2 a very random punch hole position indeed. From the first look of this I have to say it looks miles better than the Galaxy Fold 1. There is no side forehead so you get a much cleaner experience. According to Ice Universe, there is a big reason for putting this hole on this random position you can say. According to this layout we have the camera of the outer display on the left hand side and towards the right hand side we have the back camera so, so realistically it made sense for Samsung to put the hole punch where it is right now without really making things complicated or having the overlapping problem with other cameras. Now the hole punch itself is not as small as the one on the Galaxy Note 10 or on the Galaxy S20 family. It looks more similar to the size of the Galaxy A8s which was the first punch hole device from Samsung. According to Ice Universe, the actual bezels are around 3.8 millimeter, which makes them even smaller than the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which sounds absolutely crazy for a foldable phone. All in all, I have to say the Fold 2 looks superior in every way, in every form over the Fold 1. Now there is another foldable smartphone leak that could be the Galaxy Fold Lite model. It is based on one of Samsung's latest spit in showing off the old cameras and smaller outer screen. According to Ross Young's Samsung has several Galaxy Fold models from last year so Samsung could be reselling them and rebranding them with a bit of design change with older specs but at a much affordable price and call them Galaxy Fold Lite. But that is just pure speculation. The Fold 2 is the one that is coming really really soon alongside with the Galaxy Note 20 on August the 5th. Let me know in the comments what you think about the design. Also in the news, Ice Universe confirmed that the 100x zoom is dead. We mentioned that before. It's gone. It's forever gone gone okay maybe it might come back in the future but for now it's dead samsung will put all of its effort into a 13 megapixel 50x zoom they're now focused towards a proper zoom experience rather than gimmicks and extreme marketing it's more of a realistic approach so definitely samsung is making the right decision we also have the case leaks showing off the cutouts for the cameras of the note 20 and note 20 plus further confirming the design if you pay attention to the cutout for the galaxy note 20 plus it does seem to be really really big like the Galaxy S20 Ultra so Samsung could definitely call this phone as Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Also we have some interesting news regarding Samsung's upcoming strategy for releasing their smartphones and Galaxy Fold devices. As reported on Samable.com, Samsung might be releasing their new devices with a month of difference which means that in the month of August we can see the Galaxy Note 20 and in the month of September we could see the release of the Fold 2. Samsung wants to create a bit of a difference in between and one of the reasons to do that is because they want to compete with Apple. They don't want to release everything at one point. They want to spread things across. So the month of August could be for the Galaxy Note 20. The month of September could be for the Galaxy Fold 2 and then the month of October could be for the Galaxy S20 Fan Edition. The S20 Fan Edition is going to be like a Galaxy S20e, the most affordable S20 phone of all time. We don't know about the specs but it's most likely going to pack a flat display with Snapdragon 865 chipset and a possible 120Hz display. All in all, things are looking exciting. A lot of stuff is coming and planned for the second half of 2020. Let me know your thoughts regarding the design of the Galaxy Fold 2. If you think that the Galaxy Fold 2 has the best foldable product design out there, then slap a like because that is something that I think as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.